gets to ride in the parade in this cool thing, the Model T. This is Joe Diller. He's a Coronado historian. Thank you for the little home right there. I'm ready. Good morning. So if you come over to Coronado, there's a good chance you're going to see this guy going up and down the street here. You're kind of the, um, what would you call yourself? <laughs> Boy, where do I start? I'm just a guy who's in love with Coronado, and I do everything I can to help promote it. And driving the truck is something we do to promote the Coronado Brewing Company, which is a wonderful restaurant and uh, brewing company here on the island. And I put 100 miles a week on it here in town. It's really a chick magnet, you know. Oh, I bet, I bet. Uh, chicks are usually in their 80s, but, you know. <laughs> and of course, of course they have a mayor over here, but you're kind of like a, I don't know, maybe his right-hand man, it seems like, because you know everyone here over in Coronado. Well, I do know a lot of people. I've been here since 1966, and it's just the greatest place on earth. It's absolutely beautiful. And you know what? Coming up, I, I had mentioned that Joe is a Coronado historian. He's going to give us some fun facts about the beautiful Hotel Dell, which, of course, is where we're at. Some really interesting stuff he was filming and you guys definitely don't want to miss it. Right now, back to you guys. All right, well, we can't wait for it, Brandy. Thank you so much. We'll see you back there in a little bit. Down here at Coronado. Look, got my feet in the sand. It's so beautiful down here. And of course, this is Joe Diller. He was with me in the, in the last segment. He is the historian here at Coronado City, here to share some fun facts with us. Tell us about this beautiful beach. Well, this is Coronado Beach, and it's so pretty, and uh, it's got amazing history. You know, right where we're standing, 200 years ago, the Kumeyaay Indians were the only, the only people here. And they hunted and they camped and there were freshwater springs and the jackrabbits were as big as dogs. The lobsters were so big that when you pulled them out of the ocean, they thought they had you. Wow. It was an amazing place and it, it really hasn't changed that much except that the lobsters are a little smaller. <laughs> you know? And tell us the myth about the shipwreck over here. I see where, uh, Tom, you're getting a shot of the rocks over there. Tell us that story. Well, on uh, New Year's Eve 1936, uh, the gambling casino in the Monte Carlo crashed on the beach here. And it spilled its entire contents up on the beach. It was with uh, hordes of silver, gambler's silver, and bottles of bootleg whiskey and roulette tables. And it was quite a scene. And uh, people came and, uh, and hauled all the way in their wagons and their old Model, model A's. And uh, the myth is, is that there's still $100,000 in silver buried there because I don't think that's the case. Well, if I don't come right back to the station, you guys know why. Something else that they'll see flying over aside from the Hotel Dell is what's behind us. Tell us about that. Well, we have North Island Naval Air Station just behind us here. And yes, occasionally the jets will come in low and make a little noise. But as they say, it's the sounds of freedom. Yes, but I was also talking about what's spelled out here on the beach. Oh, that word, that word on the yeah. beach. Can I say that word on you TV? Say it. Coronado. <laughs> Coronado. So what's that story? There was a man that kind of carved Coronado into the sand here that uh, is still here today, and you can read it legibly when you fly over. Well, he was a city worker, and he was in one of the bulldozers uh, pulling kelp off the beach. And historically, they pulled up from the, the water line, and they bury it farther up the beach in the sand. And he just decided, it's big and lumpy. I bet I could make some letters out of this. So he began to shape the words uh, Coronado, C-O-R-O-N-A-D-U. And um, no one knew it. No one realized it for the longest time. And uh, a, a jet pilot had mentioned to the then mayor, Tom Smysick, who was also a former jet pilot, they said, it's great what you guys did. It looks so beautiful from the air. And the mayor said, what are you talking about? Well, I think at first the city was probably a little confused. They really didn't know what had happened, and they were probably caught off guard. My understanding is that the guy was in a little trouble for a few minutes, and then it rapidly became one of the one of the two or three main icons of our city, and it's there today, and it does spell out Coronado. And, and, and people love it. People absolutely love it. So many things to love here over in Coronado. And, of course, just to mention once again, the big Christmas parade is happening next Friday, December the 7th. I get to ride in a cool Model T. So excited about that. Of course, Santa and the mayor will be along as well. You don't want to miss it. Back to you guys now. All right. Any, t any place where Santa's going to show up, I'm all for it. Well, I hope to see you there. You can ride along with me if all you right. want to. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Brandy. More to come.